हेलो किड्स शुभम मंगलम एट लिटिल स्कॉलर हाई स्कूल आई एम संगीता सिंह टेकिंग सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश एंड द टॉपिक टू बी डिस्कस टुडे इज यूनिट वन लेसन वन पीस एंड हार्मोनी स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास यू हैव लर्न वोकेबलरी इन वोकेबलरी यू हैव लर्न दैट एडजेक्टिव्स आर द डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड्स विच आर यूज टू डिस्क्राइब नाउन्स आर प्रोनाउंस यू हैव ऑल्सो लर्न दैट एडजेक्टिव्स हैव थ्री फॉर्म्स ऑफ थ्री फॉर्म्स विच आर कॉल्ड एज degrees of comparison and there are three degrees of comparison they are positive comparative and superlative degrees apart from that you have also learned opposites and you have also learned synonyms synonyms are nothing but words which have similar meaning now let us proceed to grammar page number 10 now i want all of you to read the following sentences the elephant is bigger than the donkey so bigger is underlined here the donkey is not so big as the elephant so big as is underlined here so what do you find from this said two sentences you find that both the sentences are almost same in meaning so here the first sentence says that the elephant is bigger than the donkey and the second sentence says that the donkey is not so big as the elephant both the sentences are meaning now in the above sentences the elephant and the donkey are compared with respect to their size the words big and bigger are called adjectives here now let us see the information about a group of pupils in sixth class here the name of the student their age in years height in feet and weight in kg is mentioned here you can see the group of students harini her age is 11 years height is 4.9 feet weight is 27 kg raghavas age is 12 years his height is 4.9 feet his weight is 28 kg Now Siddhu, Siddhu is 13 years old. His height is 5.3 feet and weight is 35 kg. Gopi, his age is 10 years and his height is 4.5 feet, weight is 25 kg. Now look at this group of students and the information about them. Now we can make some sentences using this table given here. So we can see Hari. Look at Hari's height. She is 4.9 in feet. and uh, height is 4.9 feet and raghava's height is also 4.9 feet so we can write a sentence like this harini is as tall as raghava and look at the second sentence harini is not so heavy as raghava and look at the weight of harini it is 27 kg and the weight of raghava is 28 kg so that means raghava's weight is more than harini's weight so we can write a sentence like harini is not so heavy as raghava and look at the third sentence harini is older than gopi now what is the gopi's age it is 10 years and harini's age is 11 years so we can say harini is older than gopi now look at the last sentence siddhu is the heaviest boy in the group so look at the weight of siddhu it is 35 kg when compared to others his weight is more than other kids so we can say siddhu is the heaviest boy in the group exactly in the same way we can make few more sentences using this table okay students now look at bit 2 adverbs of frequency so before explaining you adverbs of frequency let us discuss what is a verb a verb is a doing word or action word it tells us the action done by your person now what is an adverb an adverb is a word which modifies a verb which tells us how the action is done when the action is done and how the action is done and where the action is done no no what are adverbs of frequency to understand this let us look at the two examples given here the tiny ants which were always busy tickled the dark buffaloes so here the word always is underlined now look at the second sentence they often held musical evenings in a large open field so here often is underlined so what are these words what do they indicate so the the tiny ants which were busy how busy they were always busy and here they held musical evenings how did they held the evenings how many times did they held the musical evenings often so these two words tell us how many times an action is repeated and they are called adverbs of frequency now let us see the underline the adverbs of frequency in the following passage so here it should be adverbs of frequency shekar is a busy taxi driver he never finds time to read books he often takes food outside he
he reaches home early in the evening but he seldom goes to bed early so his children always ask him for a bedtime story sometimes he takes his children for picnics and buys toys and gifts now look at the sentence here he never finds time to read books how many times does he find time to read the books never so here never is called adverb of frequency he often takes food outside how many times does he take food outside he often takes food so often is adverb of frequency again he reaches home early in the evening but he seldom goes to bed early how many times does he go to bed early seldom so seldom is again an adverb of frequency so his children ask him for a bedtime story how many times do they ask him always so always is adverb of frequency again sometimes he takes his children for picnics how many times does he take his children for picnics sometimes so again sometimes is an adverb of frequency okay students now we have to fill in the blanks with the adverbs of frequency always never often seldom sometimes so seldom here is rarely murti now look at the conversation between two friends murti and krishna so murti says do you like reading books krishna replies yes very much i always read books a book a day how about you so here the word always is a adverb of frequency now murti says i like books too but i sometimes read books not always so again sometimes is underlined here it's an adverb of frequency again krishna says how often do you read books often is underlined murti once or twice in a week sorry in a month now krishna says oh that's fine have you read asura by anand nilakantan murti says no i haven't i will read it next month how often does your brother read krishna says he seldom reads books seldom here is rarely reads books the last he read a book was 10 years ago okay students now let us discuss the writing skills of page number 11 here is a sample invitation card made by the animals in the forest for their musical program so what are the things to be mentioned in a while preparing an invitation card first you have to mention the venue venue is the place where the program is going to be held it is here given as greenwood forest guests of honor who are the guests for the program here moon and stars and the welcome address that is the from the work of welcoming the guests will be done by the peacock and the cultural programs which are going to be held for this program are dance made for each other by elephant and deer song victory over the jackal by parrots and mynas and gymnastic show will be shown by the health tips for all animals by tiger and deer and the skit is done by fine fur of rabbit by kuku and friends vote of thanks will be given by the animal wild buffalo then the date and time of the program is it is 19 september 6 pm onwards you have to mention the date and time of the program and all are welcome it is compulsory since it is an invitation card and this is designed by uh, by all the animals of the forest i hope all of you understood this invitation card now suppose your school is planning to conduct a school anniversary program then you need to design an invitation card for your school anniversary program now let us see how to design okay students now let us design the invitation card for your school anniversary program now first you need to mention the heading invitation and the name of the program school anniversary and then mention the venue that is the place where the program is going to be held write the name of your school then guests of honor you can write Srimati P Savita Indra Reddy who is our education minister welcome address will be given by master Veeram you can write any of your names and sixth standard then you can write cultural program dance by Bharatanatyam by you can write name of any student of your class sixth standard song that is the school prayer or you can write name of any song by master again you can write any name sixth standard gymnastic show that is yoga exercises for the students of sixth standard then skit is done by for the girls of sixth standard then you can mention the vote of thanks will be given by master 
some name you can write any name k vivek the head boy of your class 6 standard then again you need to mention at the bottom all are welcome since it is an invitation by students of 6 standard and the date and time of the program should be mentioned that should be highlighted you can write any date like 10 september and the timing from 6 pm onwards or any time you can mention students now with this we have completed lesson 1 totally and i hope all of you understood the grammar whatever we have discussed today and the writing skills especially the invitation card now i want all of you to note down today's sakshi classwork explain lesson 1 page number 10 and 11 and homework is you have to write invitation of page number 11 in the classwork